Hello everybody, and welcome back to yet more of the Talos Principle. I am the Phantom Gamer, let's get in there and continue with where we left All off. Alright, so where the hell are we? I've slept since the last time I played this game, so I've got to orient myself. Alright, so we've got lots of obviously sigils to get, to try and get into C, to get to... Ah yes, of course, to get onto level 2 of the tower. And then we've got two things to unlock inside B. So, essentially, I want to get these three. Alright, looks like I've already gotten two from in here, so let's carry on. Let's go this way and start off with a green. Yeah, here you are. Green upside down T. Let's do ya! Alright. Okay, so my favourite is all... As you all know, the connectors. Point. Don't tell me how to use the connector. I know how to use it. I'm just not great at using it. So I've got one there that's already connected to that. Hmm. Seems I might be required to come back here. It's uh, possible. So I'm just going to do that. That way I can remove this and... Well, that worked. Oh, of course, because now I am trapped. Ah, this is a great start. Trapped. All right, reset. That is how you do it, folks. Yes, what are we? 50, what, what? Well, one minute, two minutes in, and we already got messed up. Great. Well done, me. Right, well, okay, so, basically, it looks like I'm going to need this for some reason. I don't know what that reason is. How, what is that? Hmm. I see. Well, actually, oh, no, I do see. Okay, Cause, because without, without the second one, I would not be able to get the blue beam to there. So I have to get this and keep this door open so that I can take <clears throat> the second connector from here without getting trapped oh, forever. Is keep this open in long to get that out. But obviously, if... So I thought that would do it. Oh yeah, but of course if I remove that, then the source of energy for that is gone. So of course that wouldn't work. Good, good start already. Such a small, small, such a small level, and it's already confusing the hell out of me somehow. All right, well, just need to wake my brain up. Give it a few slaps. Actually, scratch that. I might make it worse. Maybe if I bring this here. Yeah, actually, this would work, wouldn't it? Let's have this one do the let work. With that. Yeah. So this one do the do the legwork here. Yeah. Then I can take that there. Jesus. I always try and make it more complicated than it is. That's just typical me. Oh well, never mind. We got there in the end. I guess that's the problem with the game. You or well, it's a problem with me anyway. That the one puzzle from the last episode, which took me probably about half an hour to finish, and it was with connectors, has now left me so scarred that even the simplest puzzle, I'm now expecting it to be some horrendously complicated solution. So I'm really dragging things out and dragging my heels, looking for something really complicated, but it wasn't. All right, so let's go down here, and we've got two reds left to get in here. Now the red ones are always the bastard ones. Pinhole windows. Oh god, that sounds like it's going to be a pain. So it's going to be a lot of aiming red beams through windows, red and blue. Ooh, QR code. These sigils are becoming harder to reach. I dread what the next temple holds in store. And at the end, what? Eternal life? There's got to be another way. And that's sheep again. You know, sheep, I don't blame you. These puzzles are getting very, very devious. Enough to drive a person mad. If we are indeed, in, if we are in fact people, this game would have us believe that we are not. Okay, so I need to get those connectors and access to that blue energy and I have to open that red thing. First things first, let's do that. So I'm going to have to move you, good sir, so that you're firing up both of those two like that simultaneously. Why, why is that one closed? Who cares? Alright, so we've got access to the blue energy and we've got two connectors. Let's just get these out now just in case I lock one in again. Alright, good. Now, it looks like the sigil is in there, and to get in there, let's just go around and have a look. Move out of the way, tree. Right. Ah, okay, right. So I need you to open this, <laughs> he says, with blue energy. 
It doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. Ah, the problem is, I see, that's why it's going to be a pain, because that is going to intersect the streams, which of course creates a problem. Right. Okay. So let's see, what do we need? Bare bones. Right. Well, we definitely need this here. I mean, how far away can I put... Oh, okay. So actually, I could put just one down. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because I want to use as few as possible. There's one thing I did actually learn about that. Yeah, here we go. From that last puzzle in the last episode, the one that was really difficult, was that using as few of these as possible is the key to winning. Ooh, interesting. This might actually work. Is it... Oh, no, it's only that one that's going on and off again. I thought it was both. Never mind. So I definitely need to fix that. So let's see how that can be fixed. So yes and yes. Now... Oh. Uh... Alright. That one definitely needs to stay there. Or does it? It might not. Now that I'm actually able to... Right, let's see. So if I get that there and that there. I need to have a route to that, which doesn't intersect this route. If that's even possible. I do have a second connector. Which I could use, obviously. But I don't want to waste this one. Alright, well let's, let's move further away. Let's move further away. Let's do that. This window here isn't really of much use. Well, actually, maybe it is. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. What's down there? Okay, another way to the... Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah, oh, ah, yes, okay, I, I see, I think I see. So if I put this here like this, I need to move this forwards. Is that possible? How how far forward can I bring this and still be able to see those two? Hmm. Not that far forwards. Maybe if I change the angle? No. I, okay, so this needs to be very precise and not be wasteful. That is too far away. Oh, no. That there. That would work. Can I go around this? Aha, I can. So, if I move this way back here and leave it there, take the connector, which I'm not currently using, and go over here to the red energy and to there, that should open up. Aha! Oh, wait, now that means that this, this is the only issue. Sugar. Maybe I can reach that from here as well. Oh, I can. Okay, good. Good. That's all good. So, this should be us done then. Wait. Oh, yeah. So, there, there, and there. Oh, sh Aha! Shite. Too close to the damn wall. Alright, let's try again. There, there, there. Still too, still hitting that fucking wall. Alright. Just gonna move it a bit closer. There, like that. That's not hitting the wall. That'll still hit the wall! Oh god, jeez. I'm so tired of walls. I, I am genuinely, oh. Yeah, come on. I'm not gonna be undone by a wall here. This feels like it's the solution. Oh, for crying out loud, I can't believe it! No! Oh, come on! No, don't do this to me, game. Do not do this to me. I'm so... I'm so uh, don't, please. Just game, honestly. Don't do this. Do not do it. Do not do this, game. Do not do this. Aha! Yes! Okay, good. This, this was a solution after all. I should to make sure I didn't hit that damn wall. 
I can't tell you how genuinely afraid I was that I had to rethink my whole game plan again, like I did in that really horrible one last time. It's okay. I've got to try to be traumatized. Just, just calm down. Just, just take a chill pill. It's fine. It's fine. It's not going to be that bad. I don't need to panic all of the time. Okay, here we go. Two pesky little buzzers. Everything's pesky about this game. Alright, so there's a pesky little buzzer. I guess that's what you are. So I need... Blocks. Is that the second one? Or is that the same one? That is the same one. Alright, so I need a block. Oh, no, there are two. Okay, good. Just checking. Just checking. Alright, so now I've got the connector. So presumably... Oh... I need another one. Oh, that's red, blue energy. Okay. Presumably, I need to stop these w by blocking them. But how? Maybe I just have to time it right. Could be. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? Fingers crossed? No. The block itself is actually beyond that gateway. It is very close. Maybe I was right the first time, and it is all just about timing. Is it? Very close. I'm not sure how I could make it closer. There's no angle. Or is there? Let's check. Don't think. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Now that is a devious. Very, very, very devious. Oh. Okay, right. So there is an angle that I can stand here. And still connect to there. Which, if I'm very patient, if I'm very quick, I should be able to go through. Go! In fact... Wow. I mean, I did that completely by accident, but the other one can't even inter interrupt that. That's fantastic. Block! So that... You're trapped there, which is good. That is... Actually impossible for you to block. I don't know if I've accidentally just figured out a trick here or if that really is the solution. I don't know. You tell me if you've played it. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I guess I don't care. Because I have almost done it. So again, this now will be down to timing. Because it will be able to interrupt this one. But that's fine. In fact, they've even provided me with a ladder. Should I get trapped? I've got the sigil. Now, does that mean I've got all of them in this area? Let's just go back to the start and check. I think it does. Ooh, there's a QR code here. I don't think I saw this before. I had a full-blown conversation with the entity in the archive today. Can't say it was terribly helpful. Still, perhaps I can charm some information out of it further down the line. Sheep again. Sheep, you're getting quite far. You're, you're leaving a lot of QR codes around. And you had the same conversation with the damn weird machine that I did. Or something similar. So at least that machine treats everybody fairly, I suppose. Rejoice, Hello. Child, for you have fulfilled all your tasks. I have. I hadn't even noticed. Yay! Its guardians and solved all its mysteries. Ooh, that feels Thus good. You its master. Master. And you may do with it as you will. Destroy it all. Blow the shit out of it. Graffiti everywhere. I don't know. Let me do things to it. What can I do? What can I do? Let me, let me, let me, let me draw a moustache. Oh, you haven't even got a face. Well, let me draw... Fuck it. Let me smash this wall down. I'm not a very good master of the land, am I? You're not letting me do anything. Fuck it. That feels good. All right. I I'd forgotten that that was the last area, that I've gotten all of them. Sweet. All right. Well, let's leave then. We don't need to stay here. Done. Let's go over to B and pick up as much as we can in B. C is over there. B is over here. Let's go and do it. Okay, so here we are. Egyptian. Beautiful as it is. Let's start with number one and uh, go from there. Plenty of gold. Well, all gold in here. 
All right, well, that's good because I need to unlock some stuff. Hello. Oh, in fact, I have promised you eternal life. You have. But know that eternity may only be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. Right. All else you. is decay. So it was written in the hidden words before the beginning of time. Who, who, who are these hidden words? I mean, this is all bullshit anyway, as far as I'm concerned. You're an AI. I'm an AI. Hidden words. It's all bullshit. You were made by humans. I was possibly made by you. What do you want with the sigils? No one knows. Well, I don't know. I'm finally getting some sense out of the, it the entity in the archive, though at some cost to my sanity. I'm beginning to think this Elohim wields no more control of the world than we do. Oh, really? Hmm, that would be interesting. Then again, this this does have that element of original sin to it, doesn't it? Like, as if the entity in the computer is the devil, and we're listening to his sermons, and we're t biting from the forbidden fruit that is the tower. Hmm. Alright, well, let's read some stuff. Somehow, not surprisingly, this is... Egyptian mythology, or at least it, some sort of very roughly transcribed Egyptian history. Interesting. Didn't make much sense to me. Then again, I don't know a lot about Egyptian history. Ancient Egyptian history. Just the just the basics that everyone else knows. Lyrics. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Wow, right. Great, great song lyrics. Yeah, I, I mean, I can hear it in my head. <laughs> nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Depressing. Great. Yeah, but I mean, that was exactly what we all wanted to read. Stuff about death. Would you like to confront your own mortality right now? Well, not really. I'm trying to play a game, thanks. Well, gosh, this looks amazing. Guess it doesn't matter which way we go, left or right. Lots of QR codes recently. Well, I'm going to go left just for the fact that I've seen some QR codes that I want to read. Yes! Let's QR it up. I made a box float! Seriously, it was awesome! Well done, you! I guess I'll try and use that myself. There are hidden dangers in this new world. I have inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often. Right, so... Don't get destroyed too much? I mean, is this a hidden danger? No. I'm just in the water. Okay, well, I'll heed your warning, Samsara, but, uh... I'm afraid I've got sigils to get the hell out of. Get the hell out of? Just get. Okay, there it is, right in front of me. Window through a door. It's nice having a change of scenery. I think probably the developers realised that... I mean, I'm, I'm not saying they based their entire game based on the fact they needed to change scenery, but... I mean, it's, it is nice having that change of scenery. Going from one landscape to another. It's very cool. They probably realised, at least to some extent, that it would be a bad idea to have you all in one type of area all of the time. Okay, so there's a connector in there blocked by a door which I can't open yet. There's a QR code in there. I've got red energy connector in my hand and another connector right there. There's one of those annoying things right there. Okay, let's try and put this in such a place where I will have enough time to get through the door. Hooray! Huzzah! Oh, I didn't read the QR code. I am interested. Oh, wait. Drop it. What's to say? I just don't understand this one. I figured I'd try and make some progress here, but honestly, it's such a thankless task compared to what else is out there. What else is out there? What do you mean? The other puzzles? Ah, uh, this is going to be a problem. You are a fucking problem. Oh, well, come on. Now, is there another way to get the energy to over there? Ah, uh, okay, okay, hold on a sec. I think I've figured it out. 
Oops. Because I need to be able to have... Aha! Oh, come on, mouse. Please stop doing that. I like to turn corners. Oh, wait. Hold oh. on. Right, so I need, I need... No. This needs to be connected. Shh. Now, what I'm going to do is take this... And I can keep that open. Doesn't matter what you do now. Ha! Bypassed you! Don't need you anyway. Shove it. Woo! There we go. I knew there had to be a solution. Well, I knew that that window had to have some sort of input into the solution. Alright, first gold one done of the area. No! I haven't seen any audio logs or anything else yet around this area, but then again, it's all sort of walled off. Ooh, no, there is a. There is a uh, Ian computer. Hello! Milton Library Assistant. Hello again! Oh, hi, it's you! I've been checking your responses against library archives, and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what it is to you? Wait, can you tell me what is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? Why are you asking me this ridiculous question? A tree is heavier, a pebble is older, a tree is alive. Yes, a tree is alive. Now, what is the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? A frog is conscious, a frog is green, a frog is delicious. A frog is conscious. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? I have feelings. I'm rational. Nothing important. Frogs are people too. I'm self-aware. Well, I am self-aware. Exactly. Yes, thank you. Seems you're on the right track, more or less, all along. Of course I was. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. A, a person must be rational or self-aware. Uh, no, two. A... One, a person must be rational or self-aware. Two, a person must be conscious. Okay. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? Yes, of course. I tend to agree with you, though your responses so far have been a little eccentric. Well, you know, eccentricity, that's a whole part of life, isn't it? Hey, you can't judge just because my responses are interesting. I'm resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness in your opinion? Damn these philosophical questions. Feels like I'm having a test. I didn't study for this test. I did not study for this. I was not aware it was happening. Okay. In what is consciousness in your opinion? Consciousness is what separates us from animals. Consciousness is what it is like to be me. Consciousness is the feelings and senses. Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. Feelings and senses separates us from animals. What it is like to be me. Well, yes, let's go that. That hardly answers the question. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch? Can I touch it? What is it made of? I don't know what it's made of. It's made of the soul. A functional system is beyond the laws of physics. Is made of neurons. No, I don't think it is. Is another word for the soul? No, I don't know. Consciousness is a complex functional system. Beyond the law. This will do. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through that certification program in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal. And notify you if I come to any conclusions. God, you think too much, man. Just give me the privileges. I am a person. Deal with it. Okay, what is this? That is all very true, biologically. That's quite a nice ally- um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep wanting to say allergy. Well, it's a nice example anyway, a nice metaphor if you like, for how evolution actually works. That does make a lot of sense. I mean, database, yeah, let's talk about DNA obviously, but yeah, random mutations. <laughs> I wouldn't agree that minor problems, i.e. death, is is quite right, but that's, yeah, that's logic. I'm not sure where it's going with that, but that makes sense. 
Oh, ha ha. So that's sort of like, hey, look, we might need to store information for centuries. How about millennia? And EL, there it is again. Hmm. Ridiculously fast, eh? Gave it a lot of storage and a lot of memory, eh? Hmm. Okay. I think what the articles in that are prompting us to believe, well, I think what they're hinting at is that because organic um, organisms can have these random mutations, these random errors in their central processing, they can evolve. I think, and again, over long protracted periods of time, it's saying that machines can, well, it's not saying, but it's probably hinting that AIs could do the same thing. Over time, slight errors in their programming, which might destroy some machines and make them completely unable to work or whatever, could result in something more advantageous and that survives much easier. Maybe that's what Elohim thinks he is. Maybe that's what he actually is. Who knows? Third wheel. Well, that's not nice. No one likes to be the third wheel. We've all been there. It's uncomfortable. All right, so energy source. I don't know where the blue energy source is, but I'm sure we'll come that come, come that come to that bridge. The blue energy source is likely to be through here. Yes. So I need to make sure I organize this in such a way that Well that's fine. I'm happy with that. Okay. So now Take you and put you there, and then voila. Oh, I'm going to need to put one down. I can't take one away currently. That's slightly annoying. Well, can I? Oh, I can. I didn't need this one. I'm just being... There we go. Yeah. Third... Oh, I'm holding the third wheel. Here he is. Our third wheel. Oh. It's okay, third wheel. You you are wanted. Just because they're paired up with their lasers doesn't mean you're not wanted. You have a job. There you go. Look, you, you stand on the pressure plate and allow me to get my sigil. Without you, this puzzle would not be impossible. So don't feel bad. Hooray! We did it. Okay, next one. Straight across, why not? Over the fence and far away. Lots of blocks. Does this mean I'm just going to be jumping? I am. Wait! Can I get back over now? Sugar! I should have thought that. Yes, I know. Thank you for prompting me to reset. Alright! You didn't see anything. It all went perfectly according to plan. By which I mean I haven't even started yet, so why are you looking at me with those accusatory eyes as though I was stupid there? Ha! Okay, good. Well, this is easy. Done. And done. Sweet! Ooh, and we can unlock the fan thing! Hallelujah! Alright, well, I'm interested in getting all of the sigils out of it. Ooh, what on earth is that? Paint! Why do I have paint? What can I do with it? Oh, I can paint a message. <gasps> paint a message. Oh, what should I paint? Ooh, this is cool. It's a bit like Dark Souls, only the fact I'm actually only talking to my per my per myself. This, there isn't anyone else to help. The tools. Okay, let's have a look at these. I have no idea what's going on. Do you? The tools to overcome this place have been provided to us. We only need to learn how to use them. Such a case program is a sham. What does a computer know about humanity? You'll be needing a special device to solve this one. Elohim lied about the tower. I stepped foot inside and returned to tell the tale. I have now travelled this land extensively, and I can say without hesitation that this is the most beautiful spot. Have you tried crossing the laser beams? Am I going crazy, or do the computer terminals have a personality? Oh, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. It's me! That was so cool! My first QR code. I wonder if I've missed other paint cans. Oh, well, I'm not going to dwell about it. That was awesome. I hope I find more. Okay. Road of Death. Well, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Okay, there's a ladder up here. Well, I can just bypass the Road of Death. Fuck you! 
And win. So I need, all I need to do <laughs> is put something on there. Now, what do I start off with? This jammer. Whoa, fuck you, bro. All I need, really, is that block. And the only... Yeah, if I get anywhere near that block, that thing will explode. So I need to grab that without getting shot to pieces. Oh, I did it. Can I go up here? Can't climb or can't... Can I throw it? Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. This is not going to be that simple after all. Well, now that that's unblocked, maybe that will do something. No. It's not close enough to any of those to actually destroy them. Slightly annoying. Well. How about I... Can I run for it? Do you think I can get past just one? I don't know if I can. I've jammed one. I can go underneath these two. Let's just go for it. Yeah, okay, fine. That's not possible. It was worth a try. Alright. Jam. Block. Done. Unjam. Hmm... Maybe if, ah, maybe if I jam the far away one, and that might have less time to kill me. Maybe. I hope. That's what we're going with. No, nope, it kills you very quickly. Basically three shots. Alright, let's try again. Jam, yoink. If I go right down the middle. Can I go underneath? No. Ooh. I didn't know I could do that. Have I accidentally solved this puzzle? Will that work? Oh! <laughs> oh my word! That works! I did not expect... <laughs> I would never have figured that out had I not just been pissing around with a block right next to it. Amazing. Wow. Okay. I could have been here for ages. Sometimes you just accidentally solve puzzles and that is always the most fun form of solution. Hooray. That was a funny solution as well. Done and done. Fantastic. Have I got everything from this one? What the hell is that? Whoa. Cease. Whoa, that was scary. That was fucking scary. In the time of your ancestors, there were those who did not choose the path of faith. You do not need to fear their ghosts. Fear only that you may become like them. I, 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 I did fear that. That was scary. That was genuinely scary. I did fear that. That scared me a lot more than it should have, I think. It's just the way that it was screaming and running straight at me. And then he shouts, cease, and oh. I mean, for all I know, he could have made that appear there and then stopped it to make him look, you know, like the good guy. I don't know. Whew. All right. Well, let's, let's let's carry on. We've got work to do, as it were, but whew, Jesus, that that really did uh, that did shake me. It really did. Oh, there's a star in there. Hmm. Okay. So hopefully this Well, can I still see that? No, this is the closest I can see this from. Uh, that's going to fill up too slowly for that to work. Doesn't seem like it's going to be enough time. Maybe it is. No. Hmm. So what was that thing, anyway? Screaming and shouting at me. He did say... I mean, did, did Elohim say it was a ghost? I mean, I, we've seen those recordings before. I mean, I'm assuming it was, it was a similar sort of thing. It was a recording of an AI, but... What happened? Did he fail his task and he went mad? Or did Elohim do that to him for betraying him? Did he get to the top of the tower and that happened because of that? He said, I shouldn't fear them, but I should fear becoming like them. Is that going to work? 
sweet. That's going to work. Excellent. So, I don't know. How, what would have to happen to me for me to, damn you, for me to become like them? It's definitely not something I want to do. I do not want to become like that. But I'm also now scared of stepping out of here in case any more of those things crop up. Alright, well. Don't take anything for granted in this game. That's what I'm learning. Jesus Christ. Questions within questions within questions. Nowhere appears to be safe, that's for sure. Well, we can finally unlock this. Don't know what it does, but I'm sure we'll find out in due course. Some new element to our puzzles. So let's unlock it. Done. Looks like a fan, like I said the first time I saw it. It does kind of look like a fan. So those will be available in the puzzles in this room, I guess, that require it, whatever it does. If it is a fan, I'm imagining it might allow me to jump over things or be hovering in the air or something. Seems quite cool. So I need three more gold ones in order to unlock the other mysterious object in this room. I don't know what that does either. I can't wait to use both of them, to be honest. But this is where I have to leave this episode. A big thank you for joining me for yet more craziness in the world of the Talos Principle. I'm literally still reeling from the fear of that object, that blue thing. The, the shadow, the ghost, the recording, whatever it was, coming at me. I mean, I've played horror games. If you've watched me play Amnesia, you've seen me play some relatively creepy stuff. And I've played other games off camera before I even started the, you know, the, the uh, channel. But that, oh, just the nature of it. The fact that it was completely unexpected. The so-called, so-called, the apparently blissful surroundings and the scream. It was the scream that really got to me. It sounded really, it sounded really agonized. That's what I felt. Anyway, thanks a lot for coming along. Uh, on this Talos Principle journey. It's been great having you. Please do leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. That would be fantastic. And why not check out the channel. Come and subscribe. There's plenty more over there. But from now. From now. For now. From me. It's goodbye. See ya.